To begin the build of a third hand helper, we will need four flexible coolant pipes and four alligator clips. Next, I have designed and printed holders to mount the coolant pipes. The first is a basic portable version with threads incorporated into the base for easy mounting of the pipes. The second base is an inline of four holder with two countersunk screws at the ends for mounting to a workbench. This version can also be used clamped in a vise. All of the connections on the pipes can be removed by snapping them on and off. The next step is to remove the nozzles from the end of the pipes. By applying a reasonable amount of force to the ends, the nozzles can be removed. Insert the plastic caps from the alligator clips into the ends of the pipes. If the alligator clip is loose, slightly open up the base. Next, insert the alligator clip into the plastic cap. Repeat this process with all four pipes. Take the printed base and by hand begin to screw in the flexible pipes. Finish installing the pipes by using an open end spanner. Repeat this process for the next three pipes. To stop the base sliding round on a bench, apply some non-slip pads to the bottom. Add some heat shrink to the ends of the clips to prevent scratching and damaging PCBs or wires. The clamps can be used for holding small or large switches in a variety of positions. It can be used to hold Arduinos, also for holding wires while soldering and using heat shrink. The pipes are flexible and can be easily positioned to help you with your projects. A third hand helper is easy to make and a great addition to your soldering and electronics kit.